Hi, you've clicked on to today's Tropical Tidbit for Friday. Over here, most of the focus for the next few days is going to be over here. As advertised, the Western Caribbean is starting to fester with thunderstorm activity down here. There is a very large monsoonal gyre of low pressure rotating around in here. We have one main center just southwest of Belize, which is still over land, and we have another area of low pressure somewhere just east or northeast of the uh, Nicaragua and Honduras over here, and we will be watching for this one to rotate up to the northwest and help consolidate more of something east of the Yucatan Peninsula and try to draw this land-based center out over the water. But it is very large and therefore development will be slow. It flared up very nicely yesterday and we had pressures down to 1,004 millibars in a belt along here. So pressures are low, indicating a lot of energy being released into the atmosphere here and we will have to watch this area for potential for development over the coming days. And the idea here is that for the next few days, this is going to sit down there, and we have one trough lifting out. You can see this little front here bringing Invest 94 out with it. So we have one trough lifting out. The flow becomes flatter over North America for a few days, and then by days four and five, we have a second trough that comes down here, as depicted on the GFS, by 120 hours that will be trying to pick up anything waiting down here and bring it northeastward, bringing at least a heavy rain event to Florida and Bahamas and Cuba as we go along. Now this is the Europeans' idea starting at the surface level 24 hours out. You can see broad low pressure is down here and then we're, we're going to step this out and notice that it slowly comes northward here along the eastern coast of the Yucatan and then the trough just comes down and, and gets it and brings it up through the eastern Gulf of Mexico up through Florida and absorbs it into this front along the eastern seaboard. And the UK Met has the same general idea by day three has the low sitting in the Yucatan channel up in here just moving slowly northward and waiting for the trough up here to come down and grab it. Now this is the GFS's idea has been insisting that the low will move westward across the Yucatan into the Bay of Campe Campeche and the No Gaps and the Canadian and the NAFES ensemble have joined it in showing the solution being out here to the west. Could this happen? Yes but I like the idea of the UK Met and the European better because you, we've been watching this MJO pulse. If we start this global IR loop here, I'll let this start over. You can see when we had Hove and Irwin out here, we had the main focus of energy out here. Notice how it has shifted eastward with time as the MJO has aggressively shifted east, and now we have all the convection focusing in this area of the world. I find it less likely to believe that we're going to get a heavy regression to the west here over the next few days and have all of the convection shift back out of the Caribbean and back towards the west. Not only that, but we have the water temperature profile. Notice we have a lot of cool water north of the Caribbean and then we have a lot of cold water showing up recently in the eastern Pacific. There's warm water in the Caribbean in between here and this is a very lucrative position for a convection and low pressure to be late in the season. It argues for the idea that we will get some sort of activity trying to stay in this region and perhaps incubate development before the month is out and these things I think will keep the low pressure near near the Yucatan either over it or just east of it for the next few days and this will likely remain at this together but I think we will see the main low remain around this area just slowly move north eventually getting caught by this trough and moving up. Now I put this map out yesterday and I like this idea still. We have low centers in here over the Yucatan and to the east of Nicaragua. I think they will eventually move towards each other and consolidate a little bit better in here east of the Yucatan or maybe close to the coast in here and then just slowly meander around to the north and eventually get pulled out by this trough out to the northeast. And yes, this little green cone I've drawn here is over Florida, but you know, this is a very broad low. It may not even get its act together that much. I have a medium to high chance for some sort of tropical development in here. So a tropical depression or tropical storm may occur in here. And I like the idea that we have a decent shot for it. But it may not even get that strong if the trough comes in and tries to grab it before it has a chance to tighten up too much. And either way, we're going to get a lot of heavy rain into Florida, which I've been advertising. A uh, heavy rain heavy tropical rain event for them regardless of what we get coming out of here even if we don't have development at all but it's nothing to worry about too much if I were in this area of the world right now and Florida too I would be watching the situation carefully but the good news is that since
so that it is very broad. It's not going to sneak up on us rapidly like Wilma or anything like that, and we will have lots of time to watch the potential for more consolidated development to come out of this area and have the potential to move up and threaten Florida, the Bahamas, and Cuba, and of course the Yucatan Peninsula as it dumps heavy rain on them for the next few days as well. So we watch this closely this weekend and through mid next week. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.